Hi guys, uh, so in last lecture uh, we see uh, how to use enum and in some of the previous lecture we see how to interact uh, the C++ uh, to the QML. So most of the part or uh, we cover in previous some of the lectures. So how to interact the C++ uh, classes to the QML and how QML interact with the uh, C++. So now it's time to do some QML things uh, where we need to create component and uh, we use how to be use the control and how customization will work, how anchors and layout will work. So in this lecture, I am totally talking about the anchor and the positioning of the elements. So like uh, some of uh, the uh, beginner level of developer I see uh, they are using the X and by the position so like uh, X from this and by from this uh, so we cannot use any of the component uh, using the coordinates ways uh, we are using the anchor and the layouts to organizing the elements uh, because and if we made the responsive UI and so we need to use the positioning elements so the anchor is the famous for positioning the elements and the second one is uh, provide the layout so layout itself provides some layout so where we see the how uh, column layout will work and the row layout will work so in this lecture we see how this uh, layouts uh, and the anchor will work. So, so let's see. We create uh, one sample uh, uh, project. So I'm closing this project. Now I'm creating a different project. So run name anchors. Okay. So we created the sample project here. So I'm here uh, like using the rectangle as a reference component which is the inbuilt uh, of Qt so we are creating different rectangles uh, and position that rectangle according to the its parent window and after see how to create the child component of the parent and position the their child uh, component inside of that another elements okay so let's import the control first so we can use the inbuilt component of uh, qt or qml so this is uh, like uh, let's run first so i'll show you this is the call it the root window this is the top level of window or the root level window and inside this all the elements created uh, on child level it's called the child element and you can also create another element which is called the root window child and inside the child window you also create some of other child's siblings also so siblings call it the root window as a parent window and the child element uh, or parent window called the child element so let's uh, we show you how to like i'm saying and how to position this using the anchor okay so let's uh, create a uh, first uh, rectangle so i'm creating this rectangle and the width of this rectangle is uh, 200 and height of this rectangle is 200 okay and inside the rectangle i am putting some color of this rectangle like uh, let's say the red okay so i put it the red color and where I'm positioning this rectangle, look, anchor, we have a lot of properties like left margin, right margin, top margin, bottom margin, top, left, right, uh, bottom. And we have also the vertical center, horizontal center. We will see one by one. So first, uh, and also we can fill this rectangle to total window. Uh, and we also uh, put this window on the center. So let's see, first of all, how to like put this uh, rectangle inside uh, center of the parent so this window call it the root uh, root component or the top level window okay and this is the call it the child so this is the child of this parent root level okay so let's i'm putting this uh, rectangle inside the center first of all 
and some uh, center of parent means the parent is the top level or you also put the name of this root okay so but i'm here using only the parent so let's see uh, if it is working or not so let's see how, where it look like like look this is the top level window and we put it the rectangle inside in the center so this is the center and now i am using the different property let's see how so this is the center we uh, put at any of the element inside the center okay so let's uh, comment out this and we use if i want to fill this rectangle to whole window will cover the whole window so let's what we need to do anchor dot fill we have fill and put the at the parent parent uh, where which i'm filling so i'm filling the parent so let's put fill the parent okay so let's see if it is working or not so it will fill uh, all the window like cover all uh, the window uh, so this we can do this and like i'm like positioning without anchor so it will always on the left side of this window so let's see first we run so inside the zero zero coordinate here so it will the zero zero coordinate and here the coordinate of uh, height is zero but the x is uh, equal to the width and this is the similar here the height is uh, equal to the uh, sorry y is equal to the height but the uh, x equal to zero so similar is this x equal to the width and y equal to the height so it's always in the left hand side with zero zero coordinate okay so if i want to move this something uh, to the right or to uh, inside uh, to bottom so what we need to do if i'm moving this rectangle to uh, some uh, right uh, right side so what we need to do anchor first we need to apply anchor where this position the rectangle like i'm positioning this rectangle left but we need to put some margin to the left side okay so uh, let's put left with uh, where the left the parent of left so parent dot left so i am putting the rectangle here so let's run and see uh, there is no difference uh, this is the uh, left of the parent and also the rectangle of left and this is the parent of left and the rectangle is right but the parent is right also the right and bottom is bottom and top is top so what we need to do putting the margin in left so first we need to put this line if you are like uh, applying some margin so you need to take care in, uh, in mind uh, you need to remember uh, keep in mind you need to first uh, be set the position of that where you are applying otherwise it will not take any margin okay so let i am uh, putting some margin so anchors not left margin i'm putting some 10 left margin so let's see now it will uh, set it 10 little bit uh, 10 margin we apply from the left but uh, if you are doing without applying like if i want to put the some top margin here also but we cannot directly uh, like apply the top margin let's i'm applying directly the top margin is 10 so it will not reflect it because we are not positioning this here so it will not reflect it so what we need to do first we need to put this to the top level okay so anchor dot top or parent dot top so if after that i, I apply this margin and this let's see how this will work let's it's apply the some margin here you see here we apply some margin left and right and also put it uh, this rectangle to left and top like if i want to the, put this rectangle to the bottom or right side so let's see check how to do this so i am commenting out this so what we need to do i am just uh, putting how to do uh, first we need to put this rectangle to the bottom of this so how to do uh, like anchor dot bottom bottom layer of this rectangle should be the parent of the bottom parent dot bottom okay so after that what we need to do we need to apply some uh, margin bottom margin so anchor dot uh, bottom margin 10 but here it will not uh, uh, like uh, applying margin from the left side because we are not applied so we 
also apply some margin from the left so anchor dot left parent dot left sorry left okay and apply here the margin left margin also left margin is let's apply 10 okay so let's see if it is working or not we are shifted the a rectangle to the bottom side okay so it will come here okay so if i am putting this rectangle to the right side here in bottom but in right side so what we need to do i am setting this bottom are the uh, same but because we are putting the rectangle is bottom but in the right side so what we change here the right parent dot right because the rectangle right the parent right okay so i am applying here the right margin so i am put it the some right margin so let's see if it's working or not so it will work here look at this so it will shift it to the right side if i want to put this rectangle to the top of the parent means here inside this right side and top of so what we need to do i am put this top and parent dot top okay so i am putting some margin from the top top margin and the right side is the similar this is the same for because we are putting the rectangle to the right side and this is the for the top uh, we have top uh, like top of the, this rectangle to the top and uh, the right from the right parent of right so let's see if it is working or not let's check so yeah this will work we are putting this rectangle to the right side and we apply also some margin so you can do uh, by practicing uh, any of uh, like uh, create multiple rectangle and uh, put uh, uh, like left right uh, okay and uh, with practice so now i am creating some other element with the parallel of this child element like root uh, window have two child rect1 and rect2 and i am placing the rect2 with respect of rect1 okay so let's see how to do this so i'm just removing this these lines so let's see what we need to do anchor dot center in parent okay so i'm putting the inside this rectangle putting the parent so this is the child one and i am similar creating the rectangle child two okay child two child two the height is 100 and this is the hundred and the rectangle is green okay but we are not put this inside and in center and center and we put the rectangle one uh, child one and this is the uh, second child we put the, this second child in respect of child one okay some uh, like i'm putting left side i'm putting right side so let's remove this id we create multiple so and putting different different where we need to put okay so i'm creating the four five six seven eight okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so we created the rectangle one so i'm what we need to first uh, we commenting out all the rectangle okay i'm just using the uh, only one rectangle at a time so after that we uh, we put this rectangle okay so what we need to do i'm using this rectangle this is the child rectangle i am using that this rectangle to the top of the child one okay so what we need to apply here anchor we apply anchor of uh, this rectangle top the bottom of this no uh, the top of this child rectangle okay so i'm applying the uh, anchor dot top uh, which is the child rectangle uh, of this rectangle top uh, to above the child rectangle of so this child one rectangle of top okay or we put the name of this center rectangle center. okay center rectangle so center rectangle dot top of top rectangle but it uh, uh, like uh, go on the top of this rectangle but it not position properly let's see if it is working or not it's not properly but it go on the top of this look see it the go on the top of but not like what i want it will not so what we need to do it will go the top of so here i'm applying sir if i'm like doing this like this rectangle bottom okay so i'm putting the bottom of this rectangle but top of the center rectangle so let's do it go the above 
let's go there above that is rectangle so how to need to do but i'm bound to uh, like uh, put this rectangle to the hair in the uh, in between or the uh, horizontal center or vertical uh, horizontal center on the this rectangle okay so let's how to do i'm just applying the horizontal center anchor dot horizontal center of here center rectangle okay so center rectangle dot horizontal center and also i'm putting some margin okay and connecting dot bottom margin bottom margin is 10 so i'm putting some margin uh, okay let's see bro. we put it this rectangle to the top of uh, the red rectangle or the center rectangle so similarly we put some rectangle is here left side right side bottom side okay so how to do let's i am putting the another rectangle here this is we uncommented this okay so what we need to here i am putting the blue okay we put the blue rectangle so i am just copying this and what we need to apply here different here we uh, like i am putting this rectangle top blue rectangle we go to the bottom of the center rectangle so we the top of uh, the certain center rectangle is bottom okay so we put it in uh, the bottom of certain uh, center rectangle but blue rectangle is the top okay so we apply some top margin here so i'm applying top margin but uh, this property are same because we are putting it the horizontal center let's see i'm running this okay now this will work like we put it the uh, rectangle to the top and this rectangle to the bottom so next thing what we need to do next thing we need to do the putting the rectangle the left side of the center rectangle so what we need to do here like i'm applying her uh, the child rectangle means that this uh, green rectangle uh, right should be the center center uh, center rectangle left okay so what we need to do uh, i'm anchor i'm positioning this anchor dot uh, uh, right to the center rectangle left okay i'm put also some margin so anchor dot uh, right margin so right margin is 10 but look it will still not the vertical it will the some applied it some margin here but we want this rectangle to here in middle of uh, of the red rectangle like uh, we places already this green and the blue so we want something so what which property we need to apply here so vertical center anchor dot uh, vertical center vertical center of central rectangle dot vertical center so this will we apply here so let's see yeah this will work similarly we create one rectangle we put uh, in the right side of this rectangle so what we need to do here i am creating like and commenting this signal sorry uh, this rectangle and i am putting this copying the source uh, code of uh, this previous and i am applying some so the this time this uh, rectangle is uh, like i put some color red not uh, blue okay so this uh, one blue color what is so this is the left of this blue left but this time center rectangle is right okay right side we put the right side so we put here the left margin something and now we done it so let's see so we uh, put the rectangle like here 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 and there and here so we see how this anchor will work and let's see we put some rectangle in here like corner of uh, this corner and we create some rectangle here so we match the corner of this uh, rectangle so, okay so we put some rectangle in corner let's uh, do how to do so i am like uh, like uncommenting this uh, rectangle and i am putting this rectangle so in this time what we need to do here we apply the combination of two like i want to this uh, rectangle left uh, and also the top okay anchor dot top and parent dot not the parent dot top center rectangle dot top okay so we apply some top and 
because I'm applying this rectangle like uh, anchor dot left anchor dot left uh, we applying to the center of the right right side but also we put it the some left margin and I also want the top uh, to the uh, center rectangle of top not the top here we put some bottom at top I think yeah bottom bottom is the center rectangle top so we apply some margin here to, uh, bottom margin so bottom margin should be the 10 so let's see where it we place it look here we place it here if we remove this margin so it will come here let's uh, remove this margin let's see what happening here for the margin so let's see we see the we match the coordinate and similarly we can also place here here and here let's do quickly what we need to do um, and I'm and commenting these all the signal so let's be apply the similar things here okay so what we need to do in this so I'm applying the uh, this is the same but uh, here we putting the right and here we put the left and similarly here uh, the uh, we put the top but uh, this time is uh, not top left right but uh, here we put the top to here we put the bottom okay bottom so let's run I'm not doing this so these all three rectangle are positioning but this is not still not positioning so what we need to do I'm uh, positioning this also so how to position this uh, the left left is uh, okay right but uh, the right side of this uh, to the left uh, okay and uh, the bottom Uh, let's see how this behave not still not somewhere is so uh, right uh, what we made made here this yellow yellow rectangle so I am putting the right side of that so what should be the so uh, the left of the rectangle okay the left of the rectangle should be the left not right of the rectangle should be the left of the center and the bottom uh, not the top of this rectangle top of the rectangle is bottom of the rectangle okay so let's see if it is visible or not yeah we place this yellow rectangle so we see the positioning of this rectangle so these all are the uh, what we say uh, the same level of uh, like uh, siblings these are the siblings so what if if I am creating some child element of this rectangle like we have the center element and we also uh, assuming the center element like the rectangle have some other sibling also like we uh, they have four sibling and they place inside this uh, red rectangle here 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 and here we put some four siblings to here and similarly we apply here 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 so we place the similarly we first of all we place the, this rectangle to that top bottom left right and similarly we can do inside the this rectangle so let's see how to do this anchoring so what we uh, do these are all so I am creating the child so this is the center element so I am creating one more rectangle here so which we place this center and the width is uh, 50 not 60 and height also the 60 okay so I am position now I am positioning uh, this rectangle because we are uh, assuming this is the parent okay of this child so let's see uh, how to uh, position like I want to like in like uh, by default it will go to the left side of this look here it will place here left side 
so let's i'm putting some different color color is color is uh, light gray okay light gray so let's see yeah we put it here uh, this rectangle by default it will go here but after that we position this uh, assuming to the like we see initially we put uh, like moving this uh, a red rectangle here and then here right and left so similar things we can do we can put uh, like move this uh, gray rectangle a small rectangle inside to assuming like that time we assume the parent element at the root but this time we assume the uh, parent element is uh, the center central rectangle which is that this red one rectangle okay and they are the siblings so you can do like previously in starting session we see and moving this red red rectangle okay let's see creating one more rectangle and we see some assuming some position here like anchor dot uh, right parent dot uh, right okay and anchor dot uh, right margin i apply some right margin like 10 and creating one more rectangle yeah we are what uh, we need to apply here the uh, bottom anchor dot bottom 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 parent dot bottom and anchor dot bottom margin we apply some bottom margin like 10 if we put the, this right to the right let's see if it is working or not yeah that's working like we put the some rectangle here here and here uh, also one more rectangle we could put here after that we can also move this horizontal center sorry vertical center here we put this horizontal center this vertical center one more properties and we can use so these uh, all are the anchor elements so you can uh, try and practice on this positioning so in future because uh, we cannot use in future we made some projects in there and also industry we cannot use the xy component because we are not moving toward the xy we are using the anchor positioning and up in next lecture we'll teach you how to use the layout and the combination of the anchors and the layout where we need to use uh, anchors and where we need to use layouts so that's all in this uh, in this video hope you learn uh, something here and will after that you need to practice and practice so after that you are confident uh, to applying the anchors of any of the elements uh, maybe it's a parent maybe it's a sibling maybe it's a child element of the top parent level so that's all in this video thank you guys see you in next lecture where we will teach you how the layout will work how to create the layouts okay so that's all. Thank you guys.